the last of the steel frames are in. Wood frames installed. Wood framing in the pilot house is in. Middle piece is lined up well enough. But the top still needs to be leveled. This is the level of my eye as I stand inside of the pilot house. Wood frames on the side of the pilot house are in. I haven't secured these yet because I'm not happy with how thin this piece is. It might as well be an angled piece that starts this wide here and then tapers down as it hits the middle of the thickest part. Also, these screws are obviously too long, but I'm going to have plywood at least on one side that goes all the way around. So that way when the plywood's in, I'll be able to get support for the whole piece the whole way around. I was going to make this a space for long things, but I don't think I'll do that. I'll put the long things up front underneath the bed. And this will just be a compartment for food, many different compartments. So here, where I leveled it, I took away material. And I should have known that I would... I should have put these lower, because as the boat comes towards the rear, towards the stern, it rises a little bit, and of course that is what happened. In order to level the pilot house floor, that's what I had to do. Leveling it where the bed's going to be is much easier. Level it that way. I did the same thing on that end piece. And this is stiff enough to be straight the whole way. And I leveled it as well, but of course I had to do it on the bottom because the top isn't cut flat. And it's in, but not secured yet. And there it is. Not bad, everything's level. It took me about three hours. Here's the top of the bed. I actually fit on it, but my feet take up pretty much all the space at the bottom. Here are the supports underneath. They're just temporarily fastened right now. Later on, there'll be a piece of plywood that goes up and covers both sides of this cross piece and holds it in place. And then here's the beginnings of the floor for the forward compartment. I guess maybe you call that a sole. It's a floor to meet. And then here's the beginnings of this floor as well. These pieces also are just temporary. I'll be having plywood on each side of these pieces which will support the floor fully all the way across. So here's the panels put in. For lack of any better protection for the wood that I can get in California, I'm using boiled linseed oil. I'll put it on the bottom of these pieces, which have a finish and an oak veneer on top. Those will be on the floor. And I've already got some linseed oil on these pieces and the pieces uh, on the floor over there. So this is called an engineered hardwood floor. I got about 150 square feet of it for free off Craigslist. So that's why I'm using it. So here I'm just nailing in the pieces on the tongue side with this nailer. Just line it up and then down the line you go. Just using brad nails. 18 gauge just because that's what I've got. The goal is to make it so that every part of the floor can be easily removed so I can inspect the hull anytime I want. These brads don't have much of a head on them but I already had to take up a board over here and it's on there real secure so I'm not worried about the fasteners. Here's some progress on the floor. Obviously I'll have to redo that, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. That was quick and easy. 
Replaced the replacement just because I didn't like the color difference. And here is the pilot house. Symmetry turned out okay. Each quarter of it will lift up. I'll probably put it on a hinge. That's it for boat building on the video. Now it's time to go get some drill bits. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Broke all my small drill bits, so gotta get some more.